Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of SnowRunner. I want to get another couple of tasks completed today. Rusty Legacy and Broken Antenna. Getting these two tasks out the way clears the decks for the upcoming main event of Island Lake. So let's get on and get them completed. As you may remember from the last episode, I've already pulled out the Chevy ready to pull it to its destination. So with the Fleet Star, this is going to be a nice easy pull. On the way back, I'm going to collect a fuel trailer and take it to the staging area, just so I have some fuel on hand. I'll hit overdrive so you can see the route and I'll come back just before we drop off the Chevy. I couldn't believe I got the Chevy stuck on a telegraph pole. How do I get myself in these situations? Apart from that though, I did say it would be a simple pull. The hardest part about this task though, is pulling the vehicle from the swamp in the first place. So let's get it dropped off and complete the task. That's definitely more swampy than I thought it was going to be.
with this task crossed off the list, let's move on to Broken Antenna. Before we do that though, I just wanted to say hello and thank you to my new subscribers. I'm grateful for your support and I hope I can continue making content that you enjoy. Now back to the task at hand. So, Broken Antenna is a continuation of a task we completed in an earlier episode called Signal in the Mountains. In that task, we had to go and assess what was wrong with the TV antenna. After discovering that it was broken and they didn't have the money to replace it, we've been tasked with shipping some parts up to it so it can be repaired. Like the task Lost Delivery that we completed back in Drummond Island, we're going to have to transport a container. And as you'll remember from that task, containers make you very top heavy and can lead to some very tippy situations. So we'll have to be careful with this one. The pickup point is just off the road. So let's get loaded up and make our way to the broken TV antenna. Now that we're loaded, let's plan a quick route. I definitely want to stay on the main track for this one. With the top heavy container, I don't want to take any chances with tipping over. There are some obstacles that I can't avoid, but I'll deal with those when I get to them. I'll hit overdrive again so you can see the route and I'll come back just before we reach our destination.
Well, we're finally on the home straight. This was quite a long drive, taking almost 10 real minutes. There wasn't anything insurmountable that we couldn't overcome though. I just took it slow and careful, just so I wouldn't tip the truck over. Delivering this cargo would allow the locals to repair the TV antenna. It also means that we're done for this episode. Please join me for the next one, where we're going to be repairing three bridges to the abandoned drilling sites. Until then, thanks for watching, take care, and bye for now.